because in the regu you know, if you look at the original fixed bearing, the cam and post on average engage 65, 70 degrees. But if you look at the RP, it doesn't engage until about 80 degrees of flexion. And now the RPF engages earlier. And, and obviously, if it engages earlier, it's going to push your femur back earlier. I don't know if that in some way uh, may play some role in, in stress relief of, of, of this transition zone of the, of the femoral component. I don't know. Well, they uh, do engage a different... Uh, they're they're bands. different. Whether that plays a role, uh, we, can only f uh, we, we can only find that if you mount a knee uh, in a rig, replace it, and change the insert with a different location, and see the relationship of the patella uh, in a particular knee. Then you could have a, a comparative uh, value, how the patella sits and how the patella tilts. Yeah, I think I think that few millimeters can affect the AP tilt inflection by engaging a little bit earlier. I, I think that the best maneuver with that particular femoral component is the change in the anterior flange and the narrowing of the box. You know, I think my numbers, I'm not sure, but I think they're closing in on 200 of these now. And uh, I, I, I don't think, again, a caveat experience, that I see as much anterior knee pain as I saw before. Yeah, I, I tend to, uh, I 